Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Delicious Cooking Series. I am not supposed to be smiling in this video because I literally came here to rant. What is going on in Nigeria? Like what is going on with the prices of food in Nigeria? Things have become ridiculously expensive. I cannot take it anymore. <laughs> like, what is going on for real for real? Like I went to the grocery store last week and I literally I've been noticing that things have been like gradually getting more and more and more and more expensive with the dollar and pound weight rising really fast. But I went to the market last week and realized that what I would usually use for the budget I, I have for my grocery shopping or my food shopping for the week. It's not enough to buy me anything anymore, anymore. Like the same amount of money that I would use to shop like maybe a month or two months ago. I cannot successfully take that same amount of money to the market today and buy enough things that will last me for a week. Like it doesn't even make sense anymore. I don't, I don't know if I'm the only one experiencing this. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. But I think it's every, everyone is feeling it. And I decided to come here and just rant a bit before giving you guys some tips that I've actually also started to inculcate in my shopping habits. Some tips that can help you save money during this period because things are really tough though like what the <laughs> and then later on in the video i'm going to show you um my grocery i'll take you guys will come shopping with me and then i'll just do a grocery haul show you the things that i buy on a weekly basis and how i use them and um, how i put them together and all of that stuff so this video is a rant video slash tips to help you save money in this economy and a grocery haul video all in one <laughs> anyway so the rant is not going to be really long it's ridiculous really, really what's going on is ridiculous usually i have um for me personally i have a, a sixty thousand naira per week budget for food that's what i use i spend on food it might be higher for some of you it might be lower for some of you but that's the budget i usually would work with on a weekly basis because of the kind of um food that I eat and then because I do a lot of experiments, um, te recipe tests in my kitchen. So that's the budget I, I set aside for food weekly back then. Now I cannot successfully take 60,000 Naira to the market, to the store and buy anything like anything that is tangible or would, or would um, be enough for me to do my recipe test or to feed me throughout the week. It's become ridiculous. I know some of you are some of you are experiencing it because I've spoken to a couple of colleagues of mine and then they they express the same thing and to be honest it's it's I, I'm not so sure what's going on but I think something needs to be done really fast about it. It's ridiculous. Hey <laughs> God. Anyways, to so the other part of the video, I'm going to be sharing some tips with you guys on how you can save up money during a time like this before we go on with the tips you know the drill if you haven't subscribed to the channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell just right beside it so you can get instantly notified whenever we upload a new video and of course like this video and share it with your family and friends because i know that they will definitely find it very helpful okie dokie all right guys now we can go into the tips that will help you save all the money in the world on your grocery or your food shopping <laughs> The first tip on my list is create a meal plan. Now, creating a meal plan gives you a guide as to what you would eat on a daily basis and that would have an influence on your shopping list. It will give your shopping list a proper structure so you know exactly what it is you're buying and guides you on um, the things that you're supposed to buy. So you're buying exact things that you need, you actually need for the meals that you'll be eating. Now your meal plan should include your breakfast, lunch, dinner, if you eat three times a day. It should also include things like your snacks, things you'll be snacking on, your fruit intake and your vegetable intake for the week. That's if you are big on eating fruits and vegetables, which I highly advise or recommend. Okay, so creating that meal plan guides your shopping list and ensures that you stick with the things that you actually would be needing for a particular week instead of just shopping on impulse or just buying things based on spontaneity sometimes you may find that you don't really need what you have just bought but you bought it anyways because you didn't have a proper guide so creating a weekly meal plan can help you save a lot of money i promise you 
The second tip on my list is create a weekly or a monthly shopping budget. Now, this will be based on the meal plan that you have created. And then of course, it will be highly dependent on your income. So depending on how much you earn per week or per month or whatever, however you earn your money, um, creating a budget for a particular week or a particular month and ensuring that you're sticking to the budget regardless of what's going on or whatever is happening would definitely help you save a lot of money. So sit down and ask yourself, how much do I earn per month? And then how much do I spend on food currently? Is there a way I can reduce that amount of money and still eat comfortably? Maybe you might even have to maybe reduce the amount of times you eat per, per, per day from three times to two times if it will help but if you, if 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 you if you want to stick to three times create a budget that fits your income so for example if you earn a hundred thousand naira per month you can decide that you want to create a twenty thousand naira budget for feeding and then plan your eating experience and your shopping experience around that twenty thousand naira never go above your budget always ensure you stay under your budget okay. the third tip on my list is make a shopping list which i already talked on talked to, touched on in the very first tip creating a shopping list based on um your meal plan would definitely also help you save a lot of money so you're not just going to the to the store to pick up things that you don't need you have a list you're working with and it guides you the fourth tip on my list is connected to the third tip after making your shopping list and before you make the store run or market run, ensure that you check your pantry or your fridge to be sure of the things that you already have available. I think you should even do this before you make your list. Be sure of the things you already have available before going to the store because most of the times you find that you come back and realize you had something you just spent a lot of money on and if you had just taken time to just check, you would, um, you would have saved money on that thing and it happens to me a lot. And I had to now I have to pay cautious attention to it. So my next tip now, this next tip may sound how would it help me save money, but it definitely would help you save money. Make do your shopping at bigger stores or bigger local markets. Restrict buying things that you would need for the week or a month from the small store or small kiosk around your house or that one beside your house. Because the thing is, those, one, those guys actually go to the bigger stores and buy their products and then come back to the house and sell. And of course, for them to make profit, it means that they have to add some money on top of it, which means that you are paying more. So what I would advise is do the shopping, um, um, go to a larger store. That's if you're going to be doing a bulk buying shopping Go to a bigger store or a bigger market, And that's why I always advise bulk buying because bulk buying is even on my list as something you should start practicing Stop buying things in bulk. They will literally save you money in the long run You buying in bulk means that you're buying in, in wholesale price not in retail price and that will definitely save you a lot of money. I promise you guys. And then apart from saving you money, it also saves you time and stress of having to make the market run over and over and over again. So actually the next tip on my list was, was supposed to be buying in bulk, but I think I already spoke about it. So I'll just go straight to the next one, which is do not go shopping with your kids. If you have kids, don't go shopping with your kids because kids tend to make you buy things that are not on your list. They point and they point and they're, mommy, I want this one. Mommy, this is the one I want. And you find that you end up buying things. I'm not saying don't buy things for your kids. Oh. <laughs> but if you're sticking to a tight budget, then don't go to the store with them because those things that they need, they, that they actually want may not be things that they need. But because you are a mother and you have a mother's care in your heart, you might just want to oblige and give them what they want, what that thing that they want. And that would mean eating into your shopping money. Unless you have a spare cash for children excesses, then go to the store with them. But I advise that you not go to the store with your kids. And that also will save you stress, like a lot of stress. So keep the kids at home and go shopping by yourself, okay? I'm not saying that it's only the women that do the shopping. I know that some guys do the shopping depending on the structure you've created in your family, in your house. So fathers, mothers, try as much as possible not to go shopping with your children, okay? The next tip on my list is look out for what's on sale and then take advantage of store loyalty cards. 
so some most of the times there are things that um the store will put on sale maybe things are nearing expiration or they're not selling as fast as the store would want it and then they put them on sale and make them a lot cheaper so look out for those things and then see if there's something amongst those things that you can buy there's no shame in that it's actually going to save you some money and then these days there are some big stores who offer loyalty um loyalty rewards for their um repeat customers i know that spa in nigeria does that and i have used their loyalty cards to pay for some of the things that i have i, bu I buy from their store so take advantage of store, store loyalty cards next time you go shopping ask the store if they have a loyalty card and then pick up the card and ensure that every time you make a purchase they um, give you the discount that comes with um, your purchase and before you know it it keeps accumulating 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 and one day you can actually just go to the store with just the loyalty card and you're able to buy the things that you want to buy um, for that particular week or at that particular month so take advantage of store loyalty cards and of course watch out for things that are on sale okay the next tip on my list is substitute expensive ingredients or food items for inexpensive ones so something that i did was i i know that i like to cook with some um, a lot of salmon and croaker fish um but these days i'm like hey salmon is pretty pricey i ain't i ain't gonna go there croaker fish no way now i'm in love with banla fish like you guys have no idea how much banla fish means to me now and it made me discover the flavor bomb in that fish though like i know i have some recipes on my channel where i use panla fish to cook like i'm so in love with that fish it's so inexpensive but it adds a lot of flavor to um to my dish just in case you're wondering what if it was panla fish <laughs> panla fish is a smoked fish in nigeria that's made from i think mackerel i'm not sure if it's mackerel i'm not sure what fish it's made from i think i'll find that out but it's a smoked fish um, um, and it's packed loaded with flavor you can use it for everything your soups your stews your sauces you can even use it to make your jollof rice your jollof beans pasta i've used it in every and anything sometimes i even just snack on it raw and i love it so away with the crocker fish and the salmon hi there panla fish thank you for saving my life this period <laughs> Now, I'm just using the fish as an example. Think about all the things and find out if you can get inexpensive ones that still retain quality, at least to an extent. Okay? Yeah. The next tip is when you come back from the store, ensure that you wash your food produce properly and then store them properly. You need to find a smart way to store your food produce. I'm going to start like a series on how to store um, different food items to increase their shelf life because f I find that sometimes when you don't pay attention to how you store your food produce especially the perishable ones they tend to go bad very fast and then by going bad it means that you are not able to use them up you have lost the money spent there and then if you want to make something else something with that with that thing you have to buy it again so that means you have lost money and you have expended from your budget when you could have easily just stored the food produce properly and saved it from going bad. Does that make sense? The next tip on my list is cook in bulk. The things that you would usually eat as often as um, like you eat frequently in your house, try as much as possible to cook them in bulk. So for example, things like stews and soups that we usually would eat recurrently cook them in bulk now this not only just saves you money it saves you time then my next tip would be make leftovers your best friend so even if the leftover is from your plate and you find that it's still a, 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 a sizable portion don't throw it in the bean don't say oh because i've put my spoon in it no don't do that save it you never can tell when it will come in handy i know how many times leftovers have helped me as a person these days, I don't throw out my food. I just pack it in a Tupperware and put it in the fridge. The next day, sometimes you may not even feel like cooking a real meal and you realize, oh, I have this thing left over. And you find when you bring it out, it's even tastier, sweeter, and nicer. I've experienced that so many times and that has taught me to ensure that I preserve and protect my leftovers. So don't throw leftovers out. And even when you go for a party or an event and the person is your real good friend and they have leftover meals, Tell them you want to pack them, put them in. Don't be ashamed though. We are saving money. Do you understand? So tell them you want to pack it. 
inside Tupperwares or whatever and take it home. It will come in handy the next day. It will come in handy two days after. Put them in the fridge. Trust me, they will come in handy. So don't throw away leftovers. Make them your absolute besties, okay? All right. So the next tip on my list is reduce your meal time to two times a day or one time a day, depending on your body needs, right? So I know some people like to eat three times a day, um, but trying to cut down on how many times you eat per day and then supplementing with maybe a lot of water or a lot of fruits would actually also help you save money. So for me these days, I only eat one main meal per day. I'm, I'm, kid I'm not kidding you guys, I have to save this money. I only eat one main meal per day and then I just supplement the rest of the meal. Reduce the amount of meals you have from, one, from three to two or one depending on you and then just supplement with lots of water. It's healthy, it's good for your body. Too much food is not good for your body. Do you understand? So reduce the amount of food that you eat on a daily basis, okay? That's if you want to. It will save you money <laughs> and it will also help you lose weight. <laughs> The next tip on my list is cook your own meals at home. Now, this would help you save the amount of money you spend on takeouts. Now, whether you're a guy or a girl, this is a good time to go and master the art of cooking homemade meals in your house. Cook your food yourself and only eat out when it is absolutely necessary. Okay? Another tip that I'm going to share it with you guys is start producing your own food from the comfort of your home. You can actually start by planting or creating a garden, which is something I'm looking at starting really soon because I'm actually very excited about putting a seed in the soil and watching it grow into actual food. So it's something I'm going to start doing. If you have a if you live in a compound that has a backyard, you can buy um, plant pots, bedding, bedding pots. They are inexpensive. You can grow things like your vegetables, your pumpkin leaves, your ugu, your green. You can grow things like your spinach. You can grow things like you would usually would spend, um, you spend money on out there. You grow it in your house. You can even grow yam. If you have a big compound, you can grow yams in your house. It saves you a lot of money. And the final thing on my list is, now this applies to when you're shopping, always ensure that you pay attention to the cashier and when they are imputing the things you buy, just literally pay attention to the receipts because sometimes the cashiers make mistakes and they put, uh, they double up what you have bought and because you're not conscious of it, they may not even know that they have done it. Because you're not conscious of it, you, that's extra money added to your stuff that something of, of something you didn't buy. So pay attention when the cashier is logging in everything you have bought to ensure that they are not putting um, or adding um, something you have bought two times. Does that make sense? It has happened to me before. I've actually experienced it firsthand and I had to go back to the store and tell them that you people imputed this thing twice and they realized their mistake. So pay attention to that, okay? All right, so that's all the list. That's all the tips on my list. These are tips that I've said I've used. I've, I'm using most of them currently, and I'm seeing the results and their effects in my shopping experience, and of course, helping me save money. If you have some other ones that you think I should inculcate, um, please um, just leave a comment in the comment section down below. I definitely would want to see it. Okay. All right, so let me take you guys on a shopping on my shopping experience. Um, I was doing a, a shopping for the week, like a light shopping for the week. So I'm just going to take you guys along with me, show you everything that I got and what I, what I use them for and how I, um, just show you what I, how I, what I use them for, what I got and how I use them. Okay. All right. Come with me guys. <laughs> 